The Biden administration has urged the U.S. court to certify India's request to extradite Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Tahawur Rana. Now, Rana is sought for his involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks. Assistant U.S. attorney in his submission said that the 59-year-old Rana met all the criteria to be extradited to India to be tried in this case. Rana is a childhood friend of David Coleman Headley. He was rearrested on the 10th of June in Los Angeles on an extradition request by India for his involvement in the Mumbai terror attack which killed 166 people including six Americans. Now, Rana has been declared a fugitive by India. U.S. District Court judge in Los Angeles has scheduled the extradition hearing for the 22nd of April. Now, like we told you, Rana is a childhood friend of David Coleman Headley, who is a L.E.T. terrorist Headley, was involved in plotting the 2008 Mumbai terror attack, and Rana has been accused of helping him. Now, let's uh, get you a little more details about Rana's role in the Mumbai terror attacks. Now, the government's theory has two essential pillars. One, that Headley told Rana that he was working with the terror organization Lashkar-e Taiba, including in preparation for the Mumbai terror attack. And secondly, that Rana furthered Headley's efforts on the behalf of terror group L.E.T., for example, opening the Mumbai office of uh, Immigrant Law Center, to provide cover for Headley's surveillance in Mumbai of potential attack sites in Mumbai and of helping Headley obtain a business visa for India through the submission of false documents. Now, these are the charges against Rana. And big news coming in, the Biden administration has urged a U.S. court to certify India's request to extradite Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Tahawur Rana for his involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks. Joining us uh, on this broadcast, we have uh, Chief U.S. Correspondent of News Agency Press Trust of India, Lalit Jha, is joining us on the phone line from Washington, D.C. Um, Lalit, the Biden administration urged the court to certify India's request to extradite Tahawur Rana. What is the significance of this move? This endorses the previous uh, administration's position as well, and that uh, bipartisan support that India is relationship has enjoyed. Uh, that the U.S. government, whoever is in the power, is going to support uh, yeah. India's government request to extradite uh, Mumbai terrorist attack uh, mastermind Tahbar Hussain Rana. Uh, as you know, on February 4th, uh, Rana had opposed uh, his extradition to India, citing several constitutional laws and everything, and the extradition treaty itself. And saying that he has already been convicted in one crime and he can't be convicted again to put to, to the same crime uh, again in India. So all these things have been dismissed by the U.S. government and they submitted a, 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 a motion, a fresh motion before the U.S. court uh, in Los Angeles saying that uh, they, uh, everything is put, every law and legal aspects are put in place for him. For him, I mean Rana to be extradited to right. India. Absolutely. Now, we just explained to our viewers what is uh, Rana's role in the Mumbai terror attacks. He helped L.E.T. terrorist David Coleman Headley uh, conduct surveillance in India. He uh, obtained business video, visa for uh, uh, L.E.T. terrorist Headley uh, to enter India. Uh, could you just explain what is the expected timeline of the case proceedings? I don't know. It's, it's tough to say anything uh, on on matters related like this, and at least you know, when it comes to okay, um, comes with the court uh, decisions, uh, they are uh, there are a lot of factors involved in it. Uh, right now, the sh hearing is scheduled for April 22nd, but as you know, in the past, it has uh, the days have changed at least a few times, as far as as I know.